Long, long ago, in the island of Lanka, south of ancient India, lived the evil King Ravan, whose wicked ambition to conquer and dominate the whole world caused pain and misery to one and all. And in Kaushala, a kingdom in North India, people prospered under the benevolent ruler Dashrath. However, Kaushala's capital, Ayodhya's biggest concern was that King Dashrath had no heir. On the advice of sage Vashishta, King Dashrath performed a yagya, the ceremony to beget a son. And as a result, he was blessed with four sons from his three queens. One of them was Ram, the hero of this story, born of Dashrath's first queen, Kaushalya. Whenever there have been crises on the earth, Lord Vishnu has descended from the heavens for its salvation. Lord Vishnu has ten incarnations and Ram is believed to be his seventh incarnation. When Ram turned 15, Ravan was at the peak of his powers. Ravan's relation Marich, along with his mother Taraka, was a terror for sage Vishwamitra and other hermits who lived in a forest close to Ayodhya's border. They disturbed Vishwamitra's prayers every day and on one such day. Om Agni Mire Purohitam Yadnyasya Teva Mrutvijam Otaram Ratnadhatamam Om Agni Yeswa Idam Namaha Agni Hipurve Pihirushi Pirindyo Nutanay Rutaksa Teva Eha Vakshati Om Agni Yeswa Idam Namaha Agni Nagai Mashnavat Kosha Meva Dive Dive Yata Samvira Vattamam my lord vishnu is there no one who can save us from this torment his name is Ram, first-born prince of King Dasharat of Ayodhya. Oh, sage of sages, my court is indeed blessed by your presence. What is it that you desire of me? Let me fulfill your command. Oh, noble king of the solar dynasty. The demons ruin the sacred land and we are in great trouble. I need your eldest son, Ram, to destroy them. Ram, he is but a mere boy. I myself shall wipe them off the face of this earth. This is a command from the gods. O oh, king, do you dare reject it? Dasharat, send your sons Ram and Lakshman. Vishwamitra is strong and wise and has mastery over every weapon. He will protect your sons. Ram, Lakshman, come here, my sons. O oh, sage Vishwamitra, I leave my sons with you. Give them guidance. 
and courage. Bless you, King Dasharat. You have made a decision that shall save the world. We will obey you like we obey our father. Your wishes will be our command. You know, once this was a beautiful forest, but now it has dried up because of a terrible cannibal, a demoness called Tartaka. Her son, the evil Marich, leads the demons who defile the holy fires. Ram, you must kill Tartaka. That is your dharma, your duty as a Kshatriya. I shall teach you mantras. They will guard you. Now, repeat after me. Shulena Pahino Devi Shulena Pahino Devi Pahi Khadge Na Chambike Pahi Khadge Na Chambike Ghanta Swane Na Na Pahi Ghanta Swane Na Na Pahi Recite the mantra. Many years ago, in this very place, the gods rewarded my long years of penance with the mastery of supreme weapons. The time has now come for me to pass on these weapons to one worthy of them. Take them, Ram, and use them well. They are now yours. Use them to protect Dharma. the divine weapons. How did you learn so soon? These are the weapons of the gods. And the righteous one needs no lessons to use them. Show me, my guru, how to use this chakra. You will learn, but only if you pursue your destiny in righteousness.
Listen all! This is the great bow of Shiva! He who lifts it and strings it shall receive a great reward from King Janak. The winner shall be given the hand of Princess Sita in marriage! Next, the Prince Jagatara of Savara. <laughs> Next, the Prince Ram of Ayodhya. Years pass, Ayodhya grows and prospers, and the people love Ram, their prince and king to be. The four brothers live in harmony, and their future looks full of hope. Morning, morning. I awoke from a dream full of dreadful omens. Guru Vashish sees in them the coming of troubled times. But my health is failing. I'm getting old and have no more power to resist those evil forces. I have therefore decided that Ram will succeed me. He will be the next king of Ayodhya. Ram, my son, come forward. Ram, try to live up to the people's expectations. I have faith in you. I will do my utmost to live up to the ideals you have set for us. Long live Ayodhya! Long, Long live, live Ayodhya! Long live Prince Ram! <laughs> Noisy, wretched things! Mantara, stop abusing the birds! <laughs> kai Kai! Is this the time to beautify yourself when great misfortune creeps upon the kingdom? Mantara, don't you understand? Our beloved Ram is to be anointed crown prince tomorrow. Hmm, so I said, it is a misfortune. Oh, Kai Kai, you are so innocent, so trusty. And look, look how King Dashrat has betrayed your trust. Hold your tongue, Mantara. I will never allow you to speak of the king in this way. Why? Why do you think the king sent Bharat away now? So conveniently before the coronation? Why? Why? I wonder why he did that. Kaushalya might have suggested it to the king. Yes. You know you are the king's favorite queen, and Gosalia hates you for that. She's jealous, jealous of your youth and beauty. Oh. 
What can I do? Leave everything to this loyal and clever Mantara. What's happened? Why this sorrow, this anger on such an auspicious night? What can I do? Come, tell me. Tell me, O oh King. Do you remember when you were injured in battle some years ago? I drove you to safety. And you promised to fulfill two boons of mine. You must grant me those two boons now. Only two boons? <laughs> you can have more if you want. No, I don't need more than two. The first is... No, I cannot grant you those, KK. Not those. I'll give you all my wealth. Will that please you? No. Do you want it to be known? that a king of the solar dynasty went back on his word, I will be content with only those two boons. The boons were, one, Kaikai's son Bharat to be made king, and two, Ram to be banished to the forests for 14 years. Brother, can you not hear the people's voices? Lakshman. This is part of my fate. But are we on that account to sit still and do nothing? This sword, is it only an ornament, just an actor's plaything? Brother, you are part of myself, sharing the same soul with me. Please, try to understand me. My lord, I am coming with you. But Sita, you... A husband's duty is his wife's too. Your fate is equally mine. That's right! And the same soul should follow the same fate. And so, brother, I too am coming with you. Thank you. Mother, take heart. Fourteen years will pass very quickly, and I'll be back seeking your blessings in no time at all. Yes, my son. Ram! Ram, why don't you blame me? Why don't you bear a grudge against me? That would ease my guilt. I don't want the kingdom, nor the power. All I want are your blessings before we depart. Father. My son. Bring glory to our great line of kings. Come back safe. Who in the world can boast of a son like you? Sumantra. Get ready the chariots, the elephants, horses and foot soldiers to accompany Ram to the forest. Yes, Your Majesty. Father, when nature herself will take care of me, what use have I for an army, for royal pageantry? Of course. You will give Bharat this kingdom after draining it of all its wealth. Give your blessings to your departing son. Ram, don't leave us! Remain as our king! Beloved citizens, you know how much I love you, and I know what love you bear for me. You will show your love for me by loving my noble brother, Parath, who is fully worthy of your love and being your king. Support him, I beg of you. Support my sorrowful father. 
people of Ayodhya, I appeal to you. Rama, Rama, don't go, Rama, please. Take care, Ram, Lakshman, Sita. You take care too. And please, look after my father. I will. Six months pass by, King Dashrat's palace is enveloped in darkness. Ram, Ram, forgive your father. Ram, Ram. <laughs> he is free from the sufferings of this world. <laughs> Bharat, Gaikai's son, who was away in Kekaya visiting his grandfather, who was called back to Ayodhya. Mother, what is this? What has happened? Oh, Bharat, you have come at last. Tell me, Mother, is it true? Father has passed away? Oh, God! Then it is true? Yes, but he left us a great honor. What is it? What have you done, you depraved, heartless <gasps> woman? What perverse tongue poisoned your mind? Brother, it is she! It is this evil hag who has sowed the seeds of madness in our mother's heart. Please, please forgive me. I was only thinking of you two. Kai Kai and Bharat. Stop it! I will cleave your filthy brain in two. That's enough. Don't let her blood defile our father's sword. You are no longer my mother. Let the world know it. <laughs> please forgive me. Forgive your poor mother, Bharat. Please forgive me. <laughs> forgive me. <laughs> Give this poor Ram. Forgive your son, please. Ram, I appeal to you. Absolve me of my mother's sin. Come back to Ayodhya and accept the kingdom which is yours by right. 
Bharat, what your mother has done is not in question here. Remember, the great emperor Dashrath has commanded us. You to rule the kingdom, and I to live in this forest for 14 years. It is our duty to abide by our father's wishes, whether we like it or not. You have commanded me. It is enough. But one thing is certain. I will not accept the kingdom for myself, but for you. Please bless this brother of yours to rule the kingdom with strength and courage. I will rule for the next 14 years, but only till you return. My brother. Ram. Ram! brings my chief minister out here at this unlikely hour? Sir, in the forest of Dandaka and in Janasthana, they say the holy men are returning to their ashrams. They seem to have gained a new confidence. Our spies say it is the doing of the young prince of Ayodhya, Prince Ram. <laughs> oh, this boy Ram is handsome, isn't he? <laughs> I have heard this Ram is a coward who has been sent into exile by his own people. That's right, my king. But we must do something before it is too late. <laughs> oh, Ram, I can't wait to see you! Panau Pavana Sama Kupina
Shurpalaka, Ravan's younger sister, disguised as a beautiful lady, comes to Panchavati to entice Ram. I am Shurpalaka. <laughs> Ram, you're so beautiful, strong and handsome. I have decided to marry you. <laughs> Your wish would be my command, were it not for my wife Sita there. Why don't you approach my brother, Lakshman? He is also very handsome and very strong. Mm, he's handsome too. I speak with your interests at heart. I'm only second to Ram, and I don't think you're the kind to settle for second best. Yes, you are right. I am the kind to settle only for the very best. <laughs> come, come. I'll introduce you to. This is my wife, Sita. Sanjivani Vidye Muta Muttapaya Uttapaya Krim Rim Rim Wang Swaha What's happened to you? Oh, our little sister, what has happened? <laughs> Ram? Do you mean that, that puny prince from Ayodhya? Is he the one who attacked you? Not worry, little sister. I will have these worms sliced up and fed to the ravens for breakfast. First, wake my brother Kumbakarna. Tell him I have said he must lead the attack. my king. Your brother Kumbhakarna won't wake up for the next six months. That's Sita. I wish I could destroy her beauty. Uh, is she that beautiful? There is no one more beautiful than her in this whole world. Her waist is slim, her figure captivating, her complexion like molten gold. Oh, oh. A heavenly maid who is designed for you, my brother. She's not worthy of that Ram. Oh, there surely is someone who is worthy of her. And that someone is you. Ravan, accompanied by his uncle Marij, sets out to kidnap Sita. Then, as we planned? Yes, as we planned. Well, this is magnificent. <laughs> and this can surely deceive Ram. the deer for me. It is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. For you, I will. Lakshman, look after Sita.
Brother, remember that this guy's duty is Shurpanaka. Watch out! Watch out for those treacherous creatures! All right! Protect Sita! So, it is a demon disguised as a deer. You might be relieved that you have killed me, but you'd better be worried about your pretty wife. What? Lakshman! Sita! Help me! <gasps> Lakshman, did you hear that dreadful cry? Ram is in danger. He needs your help. Oh, he will be safe. Don't worry, sister. What are you saying? You wish him dead? I understand. So, I will obey you. Sister, do not step outside this line. Within this line, you are safe, I assure you. Everything goes just as I planned. lady I come begging for arms here you are oh I'm surprised Somebody has drawn it to protect you. I cannot cross it, but you surely can. Come. Uh, no, no. If you do not feed this hungry sage with your own hands, then ruin shall fall upon your father's and father-in-law's house. Oh, noble lady. Why did you leave Sita alone? Why are you here? She insisted I leave when we heard your cry. Oh, no. That was the voice of a demon imitating mine. I fear the worst. Come, let's get back as soon as we can. He tricked me. 
He tricked me and abducted my wife during my absence. I swear, Lakshman, I swear, I shall take revenge. I shall follow that villain to the ends of the universe. I will seek him out, and I will destroy him! Calm down, my brother Ram. You have always said that anger is not the right path to justice. You, who have only the good of the world at heart, must not let anger cloud your intellect. You're right. You're right, Lakshman. Now, it is your turn to lead, my little brother, and I will follow. Lakshman, is this gentle creature trying to tell us something about Sita? It might be showing us the direction in which Sita has been taken. Let's go! Help me! Ram! Ram! Hey, what's this? Forgive me, Ram. I tried to stop him, but he carried her away. My old wings were too feeble. Jatayu, how can I blame you when you have given your life's blood for my beloved wife? Do not lose heart, Ram. You will find her again. Jatayu, Jatayu. Where are you taking me? Let me go! Remember, all of you, if anyone tries to harm her, they will die. This lady here is so noble that even looking at you makes her impure. Three Jada! What does your majesty wish of me? I appoint you her keeper. Whatever she asks for in the Ashokvan, see that she gets it. Very well, your majesty. She is stubborn, but you must give her everything she wants, except freedom. I was a heavenly creature, cursed to be an ugly demon, and no one could lift the curse. Only if I were defeated by a man of justice, I could regain my original self and go back to the heavens. Thank you, Ram. But there's nothing I can do for you in return, except give you advice. Find Sugriv now. Sugriv? Who is he? It's a lake. Lakshman, now what do we do? There seems to be someone over there. Let's go and ask them about Sugriv. That's a good idea. Wait. Dressed like ascetics, your bearing and your presence is princely answers. No, that nature is a magic theater. And in the great mother's magic play, all of us perform our little roles. <laughs> I never thought I could see a man of knowledge like you in this wilderness. My name is Ram, and this is my brother Lakshman. We are the sons of King Dashrath of Ayodhya. We come in search of my beloved wife, Sita, who has been carried away by a demon I know not where. Indeed, it is a benevolent destiny that leads me to Prince Ram.
राम वायुतिया माय नेम इज हनुमान यंग सर्स एंड आई एम मिनिस्टर टू द किंग सुग्रीव लक्ष्मण वी हैव बीन वंडरिंग वेयर टू फाइंड सुग्रीव एंड हियर इज सुग्रीव्स मैसेंजर वेलकमिंग अस इंडीड काइंड डेस्टिनी हैज गाइडेड अस हियर राम लक्ष्मण इट इज इंडीड एन ऑनर टू मीट द सन्स ऑफ किंग दशरथ whose greatness is known in all four corners of the world under strange circumstances i heard your name called out ram not many days ago a flying chariot swift as the wind raced above our heads and we heard a lady's cry for help ram she cried help me ram from the chariot a small bundle dropped to the ground we have kept it very carefully where is it where is it Oh brother look indeed they are her scarf and the ornaments in her hair oh sita my sita courage brother ra you have no time to grieve you must act without delay i have sworn to rescue sita wherever she may be mm. too well do i know how it hurts to be without one's consort My brother Wali banished me from my kingdom then usurped my wife <gasps> if only i had the kingdom's army at my disposal i would send my men to search the whole world to rescue your wife sita look let us make this covenant o prince of ayodhya let us forge our strength in friendship and swear to relieve the sorrows that have befallen us both yes let us for the sake of a friend a man should be ready to give up his wealth and comfort and if need be life itself i will live by this dharm and help ram in every way i swear it i swear it too ram fulfilled the promise given to sugriva and fought the mighty vali vali was defeated and sugriva regained his wife and his kingdom the monsoon clouds gathered like a herd of elephants and it rained at the rishyamukha hills for many days When the rain ceased and the sun shone again, Rishya Mukha stood like an island surrounded by the waters of the flood. And Sugriva called forth his great army of monkeys. When you find my Sita, give her these ornaments so she may recognize you as my emissaries. The Vanara king Sugriv sent search parties in all directions keeping his promise to Ram. out from it there might be some water inside yes perhaps we will find water there some light that must be the way out come on ah 
Hanuman, who leads the party to the south, meets Sampati, brother of Chatayu, the bird king, killed at the hands of Ravan. Where are we? Are you not Jatayu's brother, Sampati? Yes, I am Sampati. Do you know my brother? How is my Jatayu? Is he well? Jatayu has found a home in the heavens. Oh. Oh. How sad my brother should die and I live on. Old though he was, he fought a difficult battle with an evil demon, Ravan, and was slain as he tried to save Mother Sita from the demon's clutches. You said Ravan, Ravan is the name. If I knew he had killed my brother, I would never have let him fly over this land unharmed. He flew over here? Yes. Look! Across the sea is Lanka. There you will find Ravan and his captive, the lady. If we cross the sea with all the troops, we will need thousands of boats. And I am too old now, though in my youth I had circled the earth 21 times. <laughs> now there's only one among us who can handle this task. When you were a boy, believing the newborn son to be a golden fruit, you once flew after it, meaning to swallow it up. You had great powers, but you did not know how to use them. <laughs> the world was afraid of you, and so you were put under a spell that sealed your powers. The time has now come for me to unseal these hidden powers. Only you can cross the sea with your divine power. Only you can reach Lanka and find Mother Sita. Om. Om. Vangma asana soho, pranas chakshu rakshana ho, shrotram karna yoho, apalita hakkesha ashona danta, Bahubahor Balam Hanuman rushes towards Lanka, but is challenged by the same monster, Sindhika. What's that? Up 
it to little pieces. After a fierce battle, Hanuman tears the monster to pieces and proceeds towards the island of Lanka. Find Sita. Ah, you are awake. <sighs> My day begins only when I see the radiance of your face. But you, you won't even look at me. Do you not see I'm starving for your love? Perhaps I should make a gift of Ram's head. So, you have visited her again. Leave her alone, my lord. <laughs> Let's sing and dance over there. Let's make merry! There's only a little time left. The promised year will soon be over. Earth is our Lord attracted by you. I wonder what he sees in you. I'd like to see your husband. I can't imagine anyone more handsome than the Lord of Lanka. Shh, go away, all of you. Do not annoy Sita, or I'll have to answer to Ravan.
पश्या प्रभु गभीर प्रतिक्षण किंतु करोति सदा तब चिंतन तस् नयन बाष्पाकुलता मम महत्व परिज्ञान जननी हम रामदूत हनुमान जननी हम रामदूत हनुमान Come with me mother I'll take you back Ram I can't go with you there are many people in Lanka who have been abducted and enslaved by force it's not only i who is to be rescued mm, i understand i'm leaving now but soon your beloved husband ram will defeat ravan and release the people of lanka take heart be courageous till the day of liberty comes tell ram to come and save me quickly i'll be hopeful till then i'll surely tell him Before I leave, I must teach Ravan and his friends a lesson. <laughs> Besides, uh, I need the exercise. <laughs> Who has sent you to Lanka? O oh Lord of Lanka, I am Hanuman. I come to you with respect as a messenger of Lord Sugriv, the Vardara king and devoted friend of Ram, Prince of Ayodhya. You know it was a cowardly act to carry off Princess Sita, totally contrary to dharma. This will surely end in your destruction and the destruction of your race. Restore Sita to the prince and seek his forgiveness. Kill him. Brother, according to the law of kings, you may mutilate, brand or whip a messenger. But kill him? Why, what's wrong with killing a creature such as this? If you slay him, what chance is there of our real enemies being brought here? Hmm. All right, but set fire to his tail first. Then let him go home. Oh, it's hot. It's burning me. Help! It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot.
Ravan, my brother, I have come to beg you, return Sita to Ram, or I fear the next time not only the city, but the palace itself will go up in flames. You know this. If anyone else had had the gall to speak to me like this, I'd have killed him on the spot. I, King Ravan, who has won the obedience of all men and the praises of the gods, you expect me to shiver from fear of a mere princeling? Be gone, treacherous one! Get out! Get out of my sight! Quiet! Quiet! How do we cross over to the other side? We will need thousands of boats for these great troops. Then we can build a bridge. A bridge? Do you know how many years it will take to construct such a long bridge? If it was only Mother Sita to be rescued, I'd fly to Lanka and accomplish the mission myself quite easily. We have to rescue not only Sita, but others too. Ravan must be destroyed, or else there will be no lasting peace on Earth. Listen, all of you. A demon named Vibhishan, a brother of Ravan, comes in peace, seeking refuge. He disagreed with his brother and protected me in Ravan's palace. I have observed his honest nature for myself. I see no fault in his joining our forces. I agree with Hanuman. You are now amongst friends. Bless me, O oh Lord. I have overheard your discussion on how to cross over to Lanka. I'd like to suggest you pray to the sea god and ask him for his help. That's good advice, Vibhishan. For seven days and seven nights, Ram prayed to the sea god. On the eighth dawn, the god revealed himself. Righteous Ram, build a bridge with stones. Inscribe your name on each stone. And the stones will not sink in the ocean. Instead, they will support you. Not only monkeys, but all the living creatures from the mountains and the seas shall help you build this bridge. And the gods will bless you with success. Now, let's start. Let us build the bridge. I'm not afraid of the dark. 
Members of the Council, we are facing an outbreak of war. What do you have to say, Brahast? Your Majesty, you as the great Lord of Lanka need not have called this Council just to consider this ridiculous threat from a handful of men and monkeys. Just send a couple of my men who are not even present at this Council and they will surely wipe out Ram's army. Ravan, I told you before, but now I have to repeat it. Those who govern the kingdom should never be swayed by flattery. The armies attacking us are no ordinary ones. Ravan, I'll tell you this for your own good. Return, Sita. She is the wife of the Prince of Ayodhya. Grandfather? Why do we have to return her now? If we release her now, they would think that we are all afraid of fighting. It is not so. I cannot bear the sight of so many people injured and even more dead. Just for this one woman? Grandfather, that means you are afraid of fighting. If you are scared of bloodshed, how can you fight? Indrajit! I'm no coward, but yes, I don't want to fight unnecessarily. You call me, O Ram? Yes, brave prince of the Vanaras. Please, listen to what I have to say, carefully. For these many months, I've been thinking only of defeating Ravan. And now, my dream is about to come true. However... I have considered this matter over and over again, and I have concluded that I can stop this fight, even now, if my wife Sita and other captives are released, and they ask for shelter under me. Quiet! Quiet! You are no doubt surprised, but the shedding of blood should be avoided, and real peace should come back to the Three Wells. To ensure this, I am ready to forgive and forget the misdeeds of Ravan. Angad, could you carry this message to Ravan? I, I understand. I will surely convey your message to Ravan. Thank you, Angad. <laughs> Is that all you have to say to me? Well, then... Uh, Angad, that's your name, isn't it? Here is my answer. How despicable! Is this how you treat a messenger who comes in peace? <laughs> Robin! Robin, I have your answer. And now I will carry your answer to Ram. The next time I see you, it will be on the battlefield! So, Ravan wants war, after all. I understand. Angada, I appreciate your endeavor. I'm sorry, Ram. If Ravan did not accept your message of peace, I did my best. Now, tomorrow morning, when the first rays of the sun touch the mountain tops, the battle will begin. I ask all of you present here, will you fight for justice and for arm? Hey! All hail to love! All hail to supreme! Hey! Hey! Hey!
I pray to you, oh gods, I pray to you, please, please protect Ram, protect my husband. O king, but now the two armies seem equally matched. Our men are beginning to tire. Let them withdraw at once then and rest a while. Respected one, that will only lead to our defeat. Let us send Kumbhakarna's sons, Kumba and Nikumba. The tired soldiers can fall back to defense, but we shall keep up the pressure on the enemies until sunset. Yes. At sunset, Ram will stop the battle for the day to tend to the wounded and to cremate the dead with honor. Good. I will send forth Kumba and Nikumba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here I come. Monkeys, come with you. <laughs> I'll crush you like worms. <laughs> with great courage on the battlefield. Well, after all, they are the sons of Kumbhakarn. So many dead. So many wounded. Come on, let's hurry. The wounded will be coming. Have you got the water ready? Yes. Are the medicines ready? Yes. The herbs? Everything's ready. Let's get the bed set fast. Come on. Right, here it is now. You have fought bravely. I am so proud of you. Now rest. Oh no, such a tiny wound. We'll be cured by tomorrow, you'll see. Oh, ooh, oh. <laughs> Do not strain yourself. Rest. Y yes, sir.
Brother, how could you cremate the bodies of our enemies along with those of our own soldiers? Lakshman, they were our men and Ravan's men while they were alive. But in death, they are no longer enemies. Do they not all of them deserve a solemn cremation? It is not like a true warrior, a true Kshatriya to be moved by such emotion. My brother, when we set out on this expedition, I too was full of anger and bitterness. But on our journey to Lanka, I have come to see that all of us have received the precious gift of life from the gods. And it is more important to be a good human being than to be just a good Kshatriya. Have we not, all of us, sprung from the same source? Rakshas, Vana, man, beast, birds of the air, the fish of the ocean. <laughs> Yet, some of us, in ignorance, draw their bows and swords against their fellow creatures. Many have fallen on this battlefield today, and many more shall die before the war is done. And as a Kshatriya, I shall continue to fight my battles. But, when I burn the dead, I shall pray for a world free from all wars, where a man does not raise his hand in anger against his own brother. Brother, words fail me. Kumba, Kumba, my brother. Are you really gone? Is it you? Is it you who killed my brother, Kumba? Yes, I am. I am Sugriv, the king of the Vanaras. Your, your brother, Kumba, was really brave and courageous. 
I have never met such a mighty opponent before. I am very impressed by his tactics. Please cremate him with honor. Indrajit, what are you saying? Prahast and Kumb have both been killed? Yes, father. It is unfortunate, but true. I never thought Ram's army had anyone to match them. It is time to review our strategy. It cannot be helped under the circumstances. Indrajit, arouse Kumbhakaran from his sleep. What? Kumbha and Nikumbha fought so hard. Now Kumbhakaran, their father, and a warrior ten times mightier than they, can work wonders. Yes, I'm right. Wake him up immediately. This is my command. Yes, you're right, father. I will. <laughs> Gigantic warrior. That, O oh Ram, is the best and the bravest warrior of Ravan's troops, Kumbhakarna. After six months' sleep, he would have become immortal. But it seems to me that Ravan forced him to wake up earlier because he was in terror to see so many of his soldiers killed one after the other. Oh, yes, he needs Kumbhakarna, but even he is not immortal. He is only mighty enough to make all the Vanara soldiers run away in panic by his very appearance. But Ram, now is the right moment for you to go to battle. Now we go to battle. <laughs> Ah, 
But you have courage. What is your name? I am Angad, son of Bali, the nephew of King Sugriv. You are a kinsman of the Vanara kings. No wonder you fight so great. But this is as far as you get against me. Wait! This is now my mission. I see you are Kumbhakarna, the mightiest warrior of Lanka. Now, this Hanuman is your opponent. Good, good. <laughs> but before we fight, Kumba. Kumba, my son. My sons. Hanuman, I thank you for your consideration. It is nothing. I won't fight you with bare hands. Because you're skillful enough to fight with weapons in dead earnest. my mace. Now get up and fight. Wait! Stop wherever you are. I am Ra, the prince of Ayodhya, son of Dashrath. Keep away, you stupid Skillful swordsman, I hear. You are annoying me! Go away. Play with the little monkeys. <laughs> it has grown dark, and even with Kumba Karna in the field, the battle goes on and on. Father, I'll go to the battlefield and bring you a report. Yes, Indrajit, my son. Go. It has been a glorious deed. Yes. I am hurt, but well in spirit. I wish I had known him as a friend, Vadisha. I'm sorry Kumkarn had to die at my hands. Save us, Save us for wanderers! Even Kumbhakarn is gone. Huh? This spells disaster for Lanka. 
He was a fine warrior. It is sad. Very sad. Father, do not despair. Have faith. I have a plan. I will devastate Ram's troops. I assure you of this. Well said, my son. Well said. My faith lies in you. Now, go ahead. Yes, father. Let us bring all of them in while it's still dark. Hurry, hurry! <laughs> There will be many more corpses for you to gather, my friend. How dare he speak this way? I will show him. Wait! What is that? Mother Sita! Oh! Oh! Hanuman, are you all right? Anger! <laughs> Where is Ram? Why is he such a coward? Ram! Ram! Sita, my queen! <laughs> there you are! Ram, watch carefully! Ram! Stop! Stop! Come, come over here. Take cover. <laughs> Before I dispose of you, Ram, I will give you enough time to hold a funeral for your wife and your brother. May I talk with you for a moment? Mm -hmm. We have almost used up all the herbs around this area, but they don't heal the wounds inflicted by Indurjeet at all. What? What news is this? Oh, God. Oh, God, I have already lost my beloved wife, Sita. And now I'm going to lose my dear, dear brother, Lakshman. If I lose him, what else would be left for me? Brace yourself, Ram. You cannot grieve and fret like this. Your despair will damage the morale of our troops more than the enemy's arrows. Please, do not worry, Ram. Sita surely must be alive. Alive? But I saw Sita slain before my very eyes. I know. It must be one of Indrajit's magic tricks. A magic trick? What? Yes, and we must not allow his tricks to perplex us. Your grief will only give him strength. Indrajit's strength lies in his magical powers. The only way to take these powers away from him is to attack Indrajit while he performs his tantric rites in the cave of Nikumbhila. Indrajit makes it a rule to perform a religious ceremony. He offers sacrifices to the goddess Nikumbhila from the evening hours way until nightfall. He gains his extraordinary magical powers through this ceremony. I see. No, no, no. We still have so many soldiers wounded. My brother Lakshman, for instance. No, I think it will be very hard for us to attack Nikumbila Cave now. Ram. In, in the Himalayas. Yes, the Himalayas. What about them? You, you rest back, Jambavan. Talk to me. I, I know there are some herbs there that can heal our wounds in the Himalayas. The Himalayas? Oh, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that's too far away.
I see. That must be Ram's kingdom, Ayodhya. The Himalayas! Oh, you Himalayas! Sacred mountains at last! at last. Now I have to look for herbs. Our army is in desperate need of these. Ah, the herbs. There they are. Good. The pain is gone. I am healed. These herbs work far better than I ever expected. But wait. Just a handful of these herbs won't be enough to heal them all. Now, let me think. Ah. Hmm. I will take this one. Yes, this tree is good enough for me. will be a landmark. Now I will pick up the whole mountain. My master Lakshman. I'm coming, coming back, back with, with the herbs. herbs. Brother, Brother Lakshman, Lakshman, keep, keep up, up your, your fight for life a little longer. Bear your pain with courage, Lakshman. Take heart. Hanuman will soon be back with the herbs that will heal you. <laughs> Lakshman, Lakshman. There he is! Hanuman has come! Jai! 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 Here comes Hanuman! But what has he got on his shoulders? He's carrying something. That is a mountain he is carrying. Along with the herbs, he has brought the whole mountain!
Hanuman, the herbs are on this mountain. Yes. Look for the landmarks where I have stuck trees in the soil. Hurry, apply the herbs to Lakshman's wounds. Yes, it's a miracle. At last. Br Brother Ram. Oh, Lakshman, you have regained consciousness. Hanuman, you too are a beloved brother to me. Time for you to die along with your guardian goddess. It is hard to believe that even such a one as you can have faithful slaves to save you. Ah! All of you, kill him! trapped by a monkey like you. <laughs> he has slipped past him. <laughs> Listen, you obey my commands and I will spare your life. Carry me to the sky. Remember, you should head right when I say right, and left when I say left. If you fail to do so, this Shoshan will cut your throat. Aren't you? But this is 
the end of you. This is your end, not mine. I have waited for this moment. God! God knew you, little one! son slew an illusion of Sita. I shall now slay the real one. Anyone so devoted to Ram deserves to die. Will you now add to your sins by killing Sita, an innocent woman? Look at Prahast, look at Kumbha, Nakumbha, and Kumbha Karna. Each one fought bravely and died a hero's death. Even Indraji died in battle. You who are brother, Father, King to them all. Do you want to disgrace their memory? The time has come for both of us to go forth and avenge our kinsmen. I understand. But you will stay here and protect our women and children. Do you? No power on earth can crush me. Not even Rams. <laughs> Vishnu himself on his Garuda. You are right. He does. This battle between you and I shall be the end of it all. Citizens of Lanka, take heed! Your king, Ravan, whom you consider a symbol of eternal power, watch him die at the hands of a mere mortal. Ram, just tell me where your conceit comes from, huh? Your boastful lips will never speak such words again. Brave soldiers of Lanka, you know only too well who is the mightiest of all here? Yeah? Come on, Ram! Fight! So be it, Ravan. Fight. Incredible. Um, I, 
he's dead. Greater than mine. Oh, 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 you're going too far now, I tell you. Rest in peace, Brother Ravan. It is all over. Soldiers of Lanka, King Ravan has gone back to Mother Earth. Give up fighting. Lay down your arms and devote yourselves to restore the glory of your country with your new king, Vibhishan. Ram. Sita. Ram. Thank you all. But when I think of the people who died for me, I feel sad. I will meditate and pray for them from now on and beg their forgiveness. You don't need to do that. All you need is to live in peace with Ram, to make their death a glorious sacrifice. I will remember what you said, Subriva. Vibhishan, the new king of Lanka, presents Ram and Sita with the Viman, the flying chariot, to return to Ayodhya.
As they return, Sita gazes at Ram with mixed feelings, happy to be reunited with him after a long period of separation, and sorrowful too for the precious lives lost for her sake in the avoidable war. Ayodhya celebrates the safe return of their beloved king and they live happily thereafter. A few years later, Ram returns to the heavens and Sita returns to Mother Earth. <laughs>